hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to install paradox os paradox os is the latest linux distro on tamox all right so make sure you watch this video to the end to see how this is done step by step and if you're seeing this channel for the first time we upload linux videos ethical hacking tutorials programming tutorials and you know just tip and tricks on the latest tech updates so um without wasting much of your time let us get to the video Alright, welcome back. Um, to begin the installation process now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to update your repositories. Now, to update your repositories, you're going to use the command apt update. Okay. Now, after updating your repositories, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to install pirut distro. Okay. To install pirut distro, you're going to use the simple command apt install pirut distro. Now, after installing Peru Distro, of course, you know you can check Bardos OS in the Peru Distro list by using the Peru Distro list command. Okay, and what that command is going to do is it is going to show you all the available operating system on the Peru Distro. Okay, that is ready for installation. Now, after that, the next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to install Pardos. Of course, to install Pardos, just use the simple command Peru Distro install Pardos, and it is going to install Pardos. All right. Now, after Pardos has been installed, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to log into Pardos. Of course, to log into your Pardos, you're going to use Spirit Distro Login Pardos. Okay, after logging in, the next thing you're going to do is um, you're going to update Pardos terminal. Alright, to update Pardos repositories, you use the apt update command, of course. After updating the repositories, the next thing you're going to do is um, you're going to install sudo. And you're going to install the nano editor do that with the apt install sudo nano command and after that we're going to add the user account to this operating system now if you're not interested in adding a user account you can you know skip this process now to add the user account you're just simply going to type the add user command and the name of the account all right and you're going to you know just skip to the next part okay now after adding a user account we want to add this user account to you know the list of accounts that adds sudo permission now to do that you're going to use the simple command nano forward slash etc forward slash sudo as okay and um you're going to add the name of that account in the in the user privilege specification tag all right so i'm just simply going to do that now any name it is that you use make sure you add it here okay and um when you're done with this to save and close this script you're going to click on ctrl x on your keyboard all right and you're going to click on yes and that is going to close that okay now that that has been done you can now you know um log into the new user account you just created by typing the command so then the user account's name of course so to be able to automatically just log into this account at once without having to you know manually log in all the time you're going to exit back to Tamox and on Tamox you're going to use the command chain on your screen right now to create a shortcut command to log into you know the user account on Pardos. And that command is echo, then period distro login. Then you're going to specify that you want to log into a user account. And um, you're going to follow up that by typing the user account name, which in my case is bed, then Pardos. And then you're going to close that command and we're going to save the command in the bin folder and we're going to name that command Pardos, okay? And to give this command executable permission, you're going to use the chmod plus x command, of course, and um, that is it. So to log into your user account now, you can just easily type Pardos instead of logging in manually, and that should log you in. Okay, now that you know we're now logged into the user account on Pardos, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to install you this too, all right, and um, we're going to hold it, okay so do that with the command shown on your screen right now i'm going to be pasting that command in my blog so you can easily copy it from there okay and after that the next thing you're going to do is you're going to install the Pardos desktop all right to install Pardos desktop you're going to use the command sudo apt install Pardos, then xfce desktop of course we want to install the xfce desktop so you install Pardos xfce desktop okay and you're going to click on yes and it is going to you know take a while but after that it is going to install now that you've installed Pardos, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to install um tiger vnc of course so you're going to install tiger vnc with the commands do apt install tiger vnc that standalone that server okay and now that that has been done and um, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to create a login script of course for vnc server but before moving to that first start your vnc server okay 
you're going to be required to create a password create a six digit password you can easily remember okay and after creating that password you know you're going to kill the vnc server command again by using the command vnc server dash kill then ratio one and um now we should have the dot vnc folder there so now that we have the dot vnc folder you're going to edit a script in that folder by using the command nano dot vnc forward slash x startup okay and then you're going to paste in this script in that folder i'm also going to be putting this script in my blog so make sure you copy it from there you're going to be seeing the link in the description below we're going to give this command executable permission by using the ch mode plus x command and um, now you're going to start vnc server again okay so every time you want to connect to your vnc and use paradox os you can just easily type the vnc server command and you can log in with your vnc viewer but me preferably i use net X, okay so if you're using net X, also you want to make sure that your connection type is the basic vnc and you can you know give the desktop any name you like but for the sake of this video i'm just going to name it paradox desktop and the vnc connection setting it is going to be localhost one okay and you're going to enter that password that you created earlier for vnc in the vnc password session and you're going to click on connect and that should connect you to the desktop okay and now you know you can set up the desktop the way you want it okay so i'm just going to be using the paradox default settings all right so just customize your desktop the way you want it you can you know either choose my settings or you can you know come up with your idea of setting it and use it so i'm going to mute my recording now and i'm going to be recording the important part so for now i'm just going to play music And that is it with the you know with the desktop setup so once you're done with the desktop setup you can install new fetch and confirm you know um your system information using new fetch okay so install new fetch with the command to so do a bit install new fetch and you know by typing the new fetch command you can see your operating system details okay and down um, to the most important aspect i always mention this in every video i create to avoid errors you know while using your operating system always make sure you kill your vnc server once you're done working with the os okay to kill your vnc server just simply use the command vnc server dash q and then the port number you know you connected to on your local host and the next time you want to log into your you know your operating system you can easily type the vnc server command again and it should log you in so um if you found this video helpful like and subscribe to this channel and if you have questions let me know in the comment section below and i'll reply you as soon as i can Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.